here are some of the supplies that you need. Uh, you got your O-rings, your number 19 from Ace Hardware. You got your Teflon tape. You got a couple of uh, super bouncy balls. I got them at the dollar store. Got a pack of them for like a dollar. Uh, you got a couple nails that you're going to use for retainers of those bouncy balls. You have a one inch PVC pipe, a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe, and we'll cut those to length later on. Uh, you have a <clears throat> one inch slip tee that you'll use for the handle and the two caps on each end of that handle. You put a little piece of one inch uh, PVC pipe in between there. And then you have your glue, of course, you need the primer and glue. And this cap is going to have a hole drilled in it so that you can put your uh, plunger one inch PVC pipe through the middle of that. And then you have uh, your one and a quarter inch slip T and it'll have the a, a measure of the uh, one and a quarter inch PVC pipe and your plunger pipe here your one inch plunger will have uh, these o-rings on it and we'll cut some grooves for that a little bit later uh, let's see as you move down to your valves that's where your your uh, little super bouncy balls are are going to be put to use and your so they'll go <clears throat> the way that'll work is your bouncy ball will go inside of here and you put your retainer on the end of this right here your drill hole or we'll might even try melting one of those nails through there and it goes in here just like this and it creates a seal when this and it'll be a one-way valve create a seal and then when the pressure comes from the other way it opens up and then it closes this way and so that way it's a one-way valve it won't let any water or air go through this way when it seals off the more pressure you put the tighter to seal and then so the way that'll be assembled is that'll go there you have a retainer here this screws down on that you put some Teflon tape on there make a good tight seal and then this glues inside here. The same thing on this side here, you do the exact same thing. You put your bouncy ball, and then you've noticed though that I've got them in line so that whenever you uh, pump it, it'll create a vacuum in here when you pull up on the plunger. So therefore the, the one-way valve allows the air or water to come in this way and when you push down on it it won't allow it seals off here but it'll push it out that way okay talk about some of the tools we need we might we're going to use the hole saw for the uh for the cap end cap of the one and a quarter inch pipe so that the plunger pipe the one inch plunger pipe can go down through and it's probably better if i had one and a quarter inch i might find one of those and then I uh, need a little hammer to tap things into place you need a tape measure and there's a, a drill for dr drilling the hole for the nail or I might just do like I said try to melt that through so it might need a, a lighter or a small torch for that so I had to run back to the store I was going to use the uh, one and a quarter inch or one and a half actually hole saw I realized it's probably a little floppy inside there once I cut it, cut the hole in this for the uh, for this pipe to go into, as we'll see later. So I went and got a another hole saw, one and three eighths inch, and it's more closer to the uh, size of the outside diameter of this one inch pipe, just a little bit of room so that it fit tighter as we drill a hole into this uh, end cap for this one and a quarter inch pipe and you'll see how we do that later and that's where the uh, uh, plunger pipe would go into it. and also to make this plunger pipe a little more efficient instead of leaving it open where it creates uh, has a bigger cavity inside there I want to plug it off 
So I thought I could get a plug of just going into this pipe, but this pi uh, plug doesn't fit inside there. I don't know why. It should because this extension uh, fits right inside there pretty easily, and then this goes in there. So I'll just glue all that together. That way I have a plugged off uh, one inch plunger pipe. And then I'll put my grooves in here in just a few minutes. I've got the hole centered up in my thing by doing a couple measures with a square. You just take and square it up and get the right measurements. Take a nail and poke a little hole there so you get the drill going. Then you just take your drill, your hole saw, start it in that hole and just take your time, make sure your vice is might be tight. Not too tight, you don't want to break the PVC, but it goes slow and easy. Okay, got the hole cut. That's what it looks like. Well, it's not centered up. That's because I didn't hold it still when I started it out, but it'll still work. It's close enough. You need to deburr it. You can just take a pocket knife or something and go around and clip this edge off a little bit. Nice and smooth edge now, so we're ready to roll. I've already primered this, so it's ready for glue. Let's plug in so I can get the correct measurement from the end because this is kind of a thing because I don't, didn't want to have to put this extension in, but it's going to have to work. Put a little glue on each side. Slip that in, twist it like a quarter turn or so as you go in. Hold it for a sector two. And the same way with this one. Glue, glue. Stick it in there and try to turn it. There you go. A little bit. Hold it in for a few seconds. Okay. Looks so good. What I like about this is smaller than the outside diameter of the pipe. This plug is. And I had to go. What I did was. This is a one inch pipe, PVC, and I tried to find a plug for this, but uh, I couldn't find one at the hardware store I was at. So I had to get this extension, which fits in there. Then the inside diameter of this extension is a three quarter inch plug. So I took that three quarter inch plug, put it in there, that way I would have a closed off uh, end of this pipe, which would make it more efficient instead of leaving it open and closing it off with a T-handle at the top to be all that extra volume inside there. So now what I got to do is take a little sandpaper. I've got these sanding blocks here, which are really good for this. This is a not too rough. But all I want to do is get this glue off and close this glue up. And get this a nice smooth surface. Turn it a little bit as you go. Okay. So I'm thinking the first groove I'll use is going to be this gap right here, which is not a bad one. It's almost done and I'll come back you know three quarters to an inch and cut me another little groove here and we'll see you in a bit